Oh, single. oh hey guys, so it's, uh, I don't know how to intro, see I don't like talking to the camera for real, I don't like doing none of this, anyway, <laughs> so today is, what day is it, it's November 2nd, you know, just chilling today, go make some cookies, because I've been trying to make cookies again, the way I didn't made them one time in like July, or August, one of the two, and they were great, I love the way I made them that time, but um, so right now, I got my butter melting in the pot, in the, in the, the boiler, the metal, a metal bowl, and a, a pot of water. That's all I gotta do. And so right now I'm just chilling at home, just doing nothing. I've been driving better. Uh, I'm 23. I don't have my license, and it's about to expire. So my permit's about to expire. So I need to get on it. But um, just chilling and doing other things lately. So I'll be back when that thing melts out, cause I got to. Probably just show the ingredients first, but so right now we got these this butter, some butter. I got some Jet Puff marshmallows. They're on sale, so they're gonna go get kind of sale soon. White chocolate chips, some brown chocolate chips. Not bittersweet because Angie hates them for some reason. Got some Biscoff butter. I love making this type of stuff. Got some pure vanilla extract. I used to use vanilla flavoring. Did not know they're different. I uh, was not taught that. But you know, this works out. And over here, I don't have my stuff together yet. I got some brown sugar and some white sugar in there. Because it's going to go in for the butter. And I need to get my baking soda and baking powder. I use both of them. I use a. Because overall, most recipes will just call for like a. Like a ding dang. Uh, either one tablespoon, uh, one teaspoon of baking powder or one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm just going to add both of them together. Both half. So that it goes one, you know, baking chemical in, gen in general but uh i'll be back when i have my stuff ready for real because uh, it's gonna take a second for this thing to milk i haven't started the, <laughs> the oven yet so yeah i'll be back in a second record okay so so while this thing is still melting over here i gotta wait for it to get like almost completely liquidy probably should do it in a regular pan probably also should raise up temperature let's do my stuff low and slow because i don't like to burn nothing and just to make sure it comes out good, you know, you can't really mess up the batter. It just takes more time. Um, but while that's melting, I'm going to put some marshmallows in the freezer. Just show them a little bit. I know I'm putting them in my refrigerator because it probably be safer. But I'm putting them in the refrigerator and chill this up a little bit so they can set, uh, you know, not be too soft when I put them in the, the uh, mix, the uh, cookie mix. It's the next probably to put in the freezer. I'll do that. I'm really indecisive. So I'm... Um, Take them out here. Put them right up here. My empty freezer. Gotta get more uh, frozen foods. I haven't gotten a new grocery store in a second. But I'm gonna put them in there. And when I'm done with that, when this is done, add done add the sugar to that butter mix. I will be done with that and you know make these cookies. Heck yeah. Bear back. Oh, back up. Second, get down. Alright, so now my darn old butter's melted, so I'm just gonna move the bowl up to this towel so I don't mess up my darn old table. Turn off the water. Put that right there. And then I come sit down and work on the rest of the day. Ooh, never mind. First thing first, I get my damn old spoon or marshmallows out the freezer. So it does like 30 minutes or so, 10 minutes for him. All right. But so now that I got this bowl here, it's gonna be still kind of hot, so I gotta keep a glove on when I do this. I'm gonna just ooh, I'm gonna move this out the way. Also, I cut my hair the other day, so now I'm kind of bald. Gotta make sure my hair is all clean, you know, get all the dandruff off and stuff, you know. This is a, this a reset. But I'm gonna just pour the sugar, brown sugar, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, regular white sugar, just gonna pour it in there. I'm gonna mix it. Because what you do if you don't have a darn old mixer, you, if you don't have like a hand mixer or like a stand mixer, you just move it with your hand, don't let it, don't do like the, the whole room temperature butter, sugar, you know, it's way easier for you. So right now it's like, looking like a, like a, like a really watery peanut butter, 
color. If I can get that in the camera. Come on, get on the camera. That's how it pours out. Like a like a wet peanut butter look to it. So this is all my wet ingredients right here. Let that cool down a little bit. Not too much. So I'm gonna move that to the side. And over here, I got my flour. So with my flour, I'm gonna add my baking soda mix. Baking soda, baking powder mix. I'm just gonna pour that in. I'm not gonna use salt, because I already have salt in my butter. I use salted butter. I don't get that unsalted mess. It's just easier not to add salt, or add salt if you need to. And with this, I'm gonna mix this up. I'm just mix this up. You know, just get that mixed up, turn it around, and now that's like that. I could possibly add. Hold up, let me see here. Make sure all the brown sugar is crushed up a little bit. So now, what I'm gonna do? I'm going to, let me see here, I gotta think. I'm gonna add egg and vanilla to this. I can add it now, it just helps, just mix it up and stuff. And then I'm gonna add flour to it. So I'm gonna take, like I think two table teaspoons of this and add it to it. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Added to this, I look bald. Ugh, ugh. Well, actually, I'm also bald. Uh, I'm genetically, I'm also bald because my dad's bald, and there is a little bit of balding in my family on my mom's side, so I might lose my hair. Ooh, not looking good. But right. add a vanilla extract in there. All right, it's cooled down enough now. The bald's the worst part. Ooh, that's a strong smell of vanilla. So it's kind of hot, war, kind of warm, and the butter still. But this is what's gonna happen. It's a truly strong vanilla smell. All right, now I'm gonna add the uh, the egg to it. Hold on, I gotta get move this out the way. All right, move this out the way. Move this over. There you go. I'm gonna crack the egg, put it in there, mix it up. Alright. Dang it. Well, look, I'm putting my finger in egg today. There you go. No, oh, look at the eggshell in there. No, oh, yeah. There you go. Gross. I'm not gonna hands So now, now that the eggs in here, mix that up to make the white ingredients all blended and even. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna keep all my stuff in here. I'm not moving this over there. I'm keeping my dry, moving my dry to my my wet and mix it up gradually because that's how I do it. And also, because I put this, this, I usually refrigerate my cookie dough before I start cooking it. So, you know. That's done with this. I'm gonna throw this egg out. Put that there. Alright, so now I'm just gonna add, use my, this spoon, I'm gonna add the flour gradually. So like I've done a sprinkle half. I have like two, one and a half cups of flour in here. I add them, gradually add it. So I get the consistency I want. And also that if I do that that way, you know, 
supposed to have a mixture of flour and stuff I could use for different baking items, but it's best not to do that because we don't have a measurement of the stuff, so you know, I'm just gonna keep doing this. But either way, past the point of instruction for cookie cookie dough. Um, so once again, I'm getting married next year to Angie, the other person who's supposed to be on this channel all the time. <laughs> but um, we're getting married. And stuff and so we went to a convention a bridal expo convention thing and so we only went there for sweepstakes stuff because we don't want to we got basically all our stuff packed down already we got all the people we need got djs all we need now is like maybe a bouquet for her to hold during the wedding and that's it actually basically we got everything done and we actually kept it under the under budget compared to the rest of people in the state because in this state, Virginia, the average budget for wedding is twenty thousand dollars. We are basically just around like I'll say I geez, I look above when I look upwards. Um, basically, ours is like there's kids outside yelling and fighting or something. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, <laughs> as I was saying, as I was saying, uh, the average price for a wedding in Virginia, Virginia is 20k to 30k and we got it ours kept ours around at least I say 11k or past that point but we never go nowhere near 20k so we're pretty good in that and the only reason we went was for you know sweepstakes so we get there a couple of sweepstakes things that existed like we knew was going to be there like the projector and stuff so there's three there's three things I forgot the other ones but it was like a it's like a grocery store coupon like a gift card two hundred fifty dollars of grocery store coupons and there was or gift cards and there was a projector and the last thing the one we wanted was to have a free honeymoon trip for uh for four nights and three days right or something like that three nights four days I don't know how they they do it but that's why we went there for. So tell me why we get there. Yeah, the first thing we get is Trader Joe's coupon, gift card, uh, Target gift card. There's a lot of different things. Like there's a forever bracelet section where you can get a bracelet basically attached, welded onto your finger, which is stupid to me. I don't know why you would do that. That sounds awful. My sister did it, but my family with me. My sister did it. Pretty stupid. Also, the 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 convention was mad. The hall was mad small, and they had so much room in the back they could have used. It was like they used one hall, but they decided to use only half of the hall. And that was kind of stupid to me, but you know, I guess they did it for a reason. But that happened, and then we we get to the we get to the spot where you can probably win a ding dang uh, three nights three nights four day vacation thing for the honeymoon. It was actually just a sales pitch. There was no sweepstakes for that. They lied on the thing. It was pretty stupid to me, but you know, that's how it is, I guess. It's really stupid, but it was awful. It was sucked. And then, oh, here comes Peter out of nowhere trying to scavenge for signatures. It's like, bro, how do you even know we're here? How do you, how do you even know we're here? It was stupid. But past that point, it was, it sucked. And since some lady gonna get upset, who wasn't even with Peter, got upset that we weren't gonna sign for stopping him testing on animals. If you know Peter. If you know PETA, you know that <laughs> you know that they ain't, they ain't good people for real. You can look it up, and if you want me to explain it to you, too bad. I ain't explaining nothing to you. <laughs> look it up yourself. Internet's free now. Nah. But no, nah, they they've been known to abuse animals somewhat themselves, lie, and uh, euthanize pets that are being treated well for no reason, just because they like oh pet means slavery, and they also correlate pet uh, ownership to the Holocaust for some reason sometimes, or animal abuse to that, and it's so weird. But past that point, uh, like, it was a really weird day that day. It was, it was alright. It was alright. Um, past that, it was okay day, for real. It was funny sometimes, but I still kind of got upset that the one thing we were there for was a scam. Trying to sell us stuff. And it was the most bootleg thing ever. They had a roulette wheel that was held together by regular screws. And a popsicle in a clothespin. They didn't have a whole clothespin. They had a half clothespin in a popsicle for the uh, little arrow indicator thing for the roulette wheel. It was stupid. 
pretty dumb to be, if you ask me so much, if you ask me, you know. But, oh, this is getting kind of thick, so I think I might stop here. Add a little bit more flour. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, and it's going to, like, harden up more. I don't want to make it too, like, doughy. I want to make it, like, cookie. Like, I want to make it doughy, but not, like, hard dough, like, bread dough. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I can't add the rest of this flour. So I poured it out. It's fairly neat. And so now at this point, I'm going to add my Biscoff, my cookie dough, and my, 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 cookie, my chocolate chips, and my Biscoff butter to it. It would be easier if I had a darn old egg mixture, mixture or hand mixture, but hopefully I get one from the recipe. But I'm uh, just going to add like half of a regular spoon of this. Spatula. Jeez Louise. Aha. Save it. Add the biscuit butter to this. And I'm gonna add our marshmallows. You gotta just gonna throw all of it in there. And we'll mix it up. It's gonna be hard here. But, you know, you just gotta work for it. Work it up. This is a really good arm workout, you know. Sometimes I feel weak as heck, but then I mix a bowl of dough and it like it's just like okay, never mind, I'm the strongest man on earth. But yeah, you gotta get my license. And then uh, all that mess, you know. I also got cooked this. Oh yeah, so I was planning on cooking food. This uh, for Thanksgiving, like a dessert or something. And I'm gonna make. So my grandma's getting old. She's in like her 70s now. So it's basically over for that. And so now we're all thinking about pitching in foods more because she's getting more tired, tired by the day. Uh, of cooking. She's old. But I was gonna make, maybe I might make a dessert and on like a like an entree and a dessert or like a side. It'd be easy to do. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a white cheese and prosciutto baked mac and cheese or something like that. I'll make that or something. I I, I try to discuss it with them. But I'm gonna make myself a dessert and I'm gonna go over to the house and it's gonna be amazing, you know. But that's that's that. So it looks like this is mixed up enough. It's it's gonna be right now. I'll be yapping and rambling. Uh, Angie hates it. Uh, it's probably good for internet stuff, but past that point, <laughs> Angie hates it. So I'm just going to scrape this down the side, at least the white parts down the side. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, and I'll be back within like an hour or 30 minutes to get the rest of this done. So this is what like right now. Let me show you guys. Ugh. So it's going to harden up, and it's going to come out the way I want it to, because like, oh yeah, I can make regular puffy kind of cookies, or like regular cookie style cookies, but I like mine flat and like rippled a little bit, so I keep it kind of wet, and then I put it in the refrigerator until it hardens there. But yeah, okay, I'll be back after this, I put it in this refrigerator. I've been feeding her water outside the cage, because you don't drink water from there, the cage. You gotta get my actual, hey, hey, yo, don't do that. I gotta get my actual water bowl, instead of a, you know. So I've been doing this, and they don't, they drink water and they try to steal the water or play in it. So you know, we look at. What's up? Hey, hey, back up! Get away! Young folks in the camera! Get away! Ooh. Got something you want to say? No? Okay. Go back to your water. See, so try to steal it because he's going to try to steal it. She so did it earlier. Now I gotta wash my hands again. Alright, timer's up. Timer went off. I'm gonna set my oven to 350. Probably should have done that earlier. Oh well. And now I was gonna wait a little bit and then I'll be back when it's done. Alright. So now I'm back. 
got my cookie dough. It was like, it's very hard. And now I got my parchment paper, bacon sheets, kind of warm, because it's been so in the oven. And it warm, 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 yep. Let me, let me put this down. So now that this is kind of hardened, I'm just going to scoop it out, wet my hands, scoop it out, and put it on. I got water in a bowl here. So scoop it out, wet my hands, and ball it up, and put it on the thing. And we'll cook that. And I'm going to do that like three times in a row. But uh, wet a hand, dry my hand off. Put the water bowl over here so you can see. I'm just going to take a spoon, fold it up, and uh, not too far down. Now I'm just gonna take this dough and just gonna scoop it to my hand. Like that. Take it off and roll it up. Place that down, put it down the hand. Not too bad, you just want a little moisture so the ball sticks to you too. It will not stick to your hand. Some people use oil, I don't wanna use oil. This works as a sign. Let's go roll it up a little bit. Put it down. And I usually like to put the marshmallows facing upwards if I have marshmallows in it, but if they're on like dope both sides, it's uh, useless and might as well not care about it. Let's go take a scoop here. Little like small scoops. And just roll it up in your hand and throw it down. And that's how you basically do it. And this is going to to repeat. That was a kind of big one here, but who cares? I rolled up in my hand like a ball. I put it down and I'm throw it in the oven. And then when I'm done with that, this is baking. I'm gonna put the dough back into the, uh, the 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 refrigerator and let it sit there again until I'm done with all of it. This goes back in the refrigerator. Right now, my oven set. Right now, I'm oven set to 350. Just don't take this. You come with me. Come here. Come on. You're in this together. I'm gonna take this and put it in here. I'm gonna bake it for. Okay. I don't know how long I'm gonna take this for. Bake this for do 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 do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I usually like to go for the lowest time that it's baked for. At least 10 minutes. So that's, yeah, 10 minutes. And I'll be back when I'm done with all of them. Because uh, I don't feel like recording all of it. So, uh, you, you know, I'll be back in a second. There's a lot of cuts in these. I cut this a lot because I, I just don't care. For real. I'll be with you, dog. <laughs> I'm going to cook it in here, too. Didn't have the room for so big. But look, these things look great. That's it. Uh, bye. This, is, this was a. I was really teaching how to make cookies and some bits. Kind of talking and yapping. Bye. <laughs>